hardware cloud couch dupe that I purchased for a fraction of the price from Value City Furniture within their plush collection line. I've had my couch for about four months give or take and I remember before purchasing it I looked at a ton of reviews on this couch to see what other people thought about it. I was on Google, YouTube, everywhere on the internet just to see what I could find out about this couch before buying it. And I was able to get some accurate information and go ahead and make a decision to purchase this couch myself. And of course, I'm gonna do the same for you guys. Again, I've had it for about four months now, so I think I'm at a place where I can give you guys an accurate and honest review on how I like my couch, and hopefully it helps you guys if you have thought about getting one yourself. Again, this is from Value City Furniture, so it's not the original restoration hardware couch, but it's pretty close to it. So let's go ahead and get into it, and hopefully you guys can make a decision if you've been thinking about getting one yourself. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and just get into it. So I have my notebook here because I wanted to jot down all the pros and cons and I forget stuff while I'm trying to film. So I don't wanna forget anything about this couch. I purchased this couch from Value City Furniture about four months ago, had it for about four months and I absolutely love it. My first review about this couch is I love it. I would buy it again and again and again if I had to. Everything about this couch is amazing. How it looks, how it feels in our space, how big it is. It's so many things about this couch that I absolutely love. It's comfortable, but I wanna give you an in-depth review about how it is. So let's just start with the first point that I wrote down, which is versatility. This couch, couch is very versatile. Um, it is a modular sofa. So there's a lot of different ways that you can arrange the couch. When we bought it, it came in about five, it came in five pieces, not including the ottoman. So it's six pieces all together. And you can pretty much just arrange this couch in any different way that you want. When Buddy and I first brought the couch in here, we tried different ways to situate it in our space and we ended up coming with up with the U shape that you guys saw at the beginning of the video that works best for us because we just have a TV in the back of you guys that we like to watch, of course. And having a U shape is really good. It's really nice to have guests over and everybody can kind of see the TV. So that's how we situated ours. Um, but yeah, it's really great if we wanted to have like remove this middle piece and um, add, or add multiple pieces because if we wanted eight pieces we could do that and it could be longer so if you have a larger space you can do that if you want to have not if you don't want two corner space um pieces you don't have to do that so there's a lot of different ways that you can situate this couch which is really really nice right now we don't have um the ottoman upstairs it is in our basement because it takes up a lot of room but if we want sometimes we do have the ottoman just sitting in this in the middle of our u-shape and it just makes this humongous bed so to speak where we can just lounge out on if we want to have this cool movie night we can do that if we want friends over i have my sisters over a lot and we can just have a like a movie night so i love the versatility of this couch and that's a really top pro for me of course comfortability is number two this couch is so comfortable when people come over you just want to lay out on it and it's not about other people because me and buddy use this couch the most when we come home we just want to lay out on it like everything about this couch is so comfortable it is a feather couch it's down feathers when you sit on it it just forms to your body shape and you don't want to get up from it when people come over i actually see how they're just laid out like they'll just go straight to the couch and they don't want to get up they stay over for 
hours. They stay over longer than they expected that to stay over. And I just love that, how people love to relax on our couch. And yeah, we could just sit here again, like just have hours and hours watching movies and just have a good time and just be laid out on this couch because of how comfortable it is. Now, I do know, you know, some people have different types like a feel that they like for their couch. Some people like more of a firm feel. So if you are more of a firm person, I would say the feather couch would not be for you. But at Value City, they actually have two different options that you can choose from, which is the feather option. And it's more of a firm like cushion type that you can choose from. So that's um, an option that you can get. But for me, I always thought the feather was, um, you know best for me and just the restoration hardware cloud couch i think i could be wrong but i think their signature look was that feather look so i really wanted to go for that so this works for me this couch is humongous it's so large it is large and in charge <laughs> um it just fits in our space really really well i think we have i don't think we have a very large living room but we do have a pretty big open space as you can see it just when you walk into our our um, living room, you kind of have the dining room that's in the back and there's just a lot of space here. So it fills in our space really, really well. If you want something that fills it in, I would say definitely go for this, this couch, uh, especially with it being a modular couch, you can add pieces in too. So that's really good for you. I know for some people, and we're gonna get into it once I get to the cons, that could be a con for some people because they don't have a larger space, but if you have a larger space that you really want to fill out, then this is the piece for you. It is big. So I would definitely say, um, you know, go for that if that's something that you're looking for. With it being so large as well, it fits so many different people on the couch. If when we have guests over, there is enough seating for everyone. And if this is going, if your couch is going to be your main piece of seating, then I would definitely say go for this as well because you're gonna be able to fit a lot of people in here when you, on this couch when you have people over and things like that. When we first bought this couch, everyone was like, oh my gosh, your couch is so light. It's a white couch. Why would you get a couch like that? You're gonna make a mess. When you, ha when you have kids, they're gonna make messes on your couch and it's just gonna look a hot, it's gonna be a disastrous basically. But for us, that's not a big issue because you can easily unzip each cushion and pull off the cover and just throw in the washing machine. That is huge for me because it is a light colored couch and you know, you are bound to make some type of mess at some point. So being able to just take these cushions and zip off the cover, throw in the wash when we make a mess, that's definitely important for me. And you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. This um, fabric is seems to be really durable. Um, we have cleaned the cushions once before. I threw them in the washing machine once before. So they've been holding up really well. Biggest point for me, because this is obviously a design and decor channel, is the design of the couch. It has simple lines. It has a simple and clean aesthetic. It's very streamlined. I love everything about this couch and how it looks in our space. I love that restoration hardware look and we're able to get that with this couch. Even though it is, you know, a light colored couch and it's um, pretty, it is a massive couch. It's so inviting when people walk into the house. It's inviting for ourselves when we come home and it's just clean and it just makes you want to relax. If you love a simple aesthetic within your home, this is definitely the couch for you because it fits pretty much any design that you may have and it just it just fits very 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 well and i love how it makes our space look the design of it is perfect i love how it looks i love how it sits low and yeah it's just a beautiful couch the design is perfect so if that's something you're looking for definitely keep that in mind this couch if you purchase it from value city furniture actually has so many different color options to choose from if you have a color that you need to match to your house i guarantee you you're going to find it on their site i scrolled through the colors that they had on their site and they had over 60 different color options that is insane for a couch now if you purchase this couch on a different site because 
the cloud couch you can find a dupe of this anywhere you don't have to go to value city furniture but if you go on value city furniture i guarantee you you're going to find the one that matches your home perfectly also i did mention the types of inserts that you can have in this couch on the, with this couch they have the feather option which is what i have and they also have that the firm cushion that you can choose from you have options to choose from um i love that i love options i don't want to be tied down to one particular couch that you're gonna get so it's nice to have those options i actually when you think about it i we technically were tie down to what we're going to get because we saw our couch in the clearance section of value city furniture but i wanted this couch i already knew this is what i wanted i just didn't think i could get it but um we just really lucked out to find it in the clearance section let's just go ahead and get into cons because with every pro some there sometimes there are some cons again they don't outweigh the pros for me but for you it may be a little different first con actually kind of plays into one of the pros that i had which is it being so large some people ha don't have as large of a space they may want a couch that looks like this or a couch that is like this but their space may not fit a couch that's this large our living room is actually pretty spacious but even with the space that we have in our living room this was still pretty big. It was still pretty massive. And when they delivered the couch here, I remember seeing all the pieces and I was like, oh my gosh, this is not, I don't know how we're going to fit this in here. But fortunately, it did work out for us. But that's not going to be the same for everybody. And it is so large also that we don't even have our ottoman up here because it is so big. Um, so yeah, if you have a smaller apartment or a smaller home, this might not be for you. Um, it is a modular couch, but I do think... With this particular couch, you need to have at least five pieces. And I don't think this couch will actually look that great if you don't have the five pieces. So if it doesn't fit in your space, I don't suggest you getting it. I would um, suggest you definitely measuring it out and actually going in into the store to see how it actually looks to make sure that it will fit in your space. Because you don't want to waste your time or money or purchase something that won't work for, for your home. So cleaning the couch overall is easy because you can just unzip the you know the covers and throw them in the washing machine but if you have little kids which we don't have kids just yet um if you have little kids and it might not even be little kids that do it but you have people over or you make a mess and you have to go under your your couch to clean regularly because you're dropping things on the side and stuff like that this might not be for you because the couch is heavy like you can't just push the couch back and you know move pieces back and just easily vacuum underneath this couch um if that's something that you like to do or you may be someone that constantly likes to go under you know every other day and vacuum under couch and stuff like that this might not be for you because it is a heavy couch now that may work for you, you may not care that it's a heavy couch but some people like the option to just be able to push a couch back and easily clean you're not going to want to do that with this because it's heavy. If you're looking to clean under it, you're not going to want to do that all the time because I know I don't. I definitely don't. As much as I like to clean, I'm not moving this couch if I don't have to because it's too much work. With this couch being a feather couch and you sitting on it often, if you have a couch, I will hope you are utilizing it on a daily basis and you're getting your use out of it because couches are not cheap. But with it being a feather couch, as you can see, it kind of compresses as you sit on it so if you can see the other two they're very plush they look so beautiful they're so pretty but once you sit on it it looks like this this is what it looks like so that could be a con for some people it's not a con for me because i don't really care you know it's not it's, you know i don't really care i can just fluff it up as i need to but fluffing it can just it can take a lot of time you have to get up and remove the cushion and um, I'll actually probably do another video or an insert on um, within this video on how I fluff it, but you have to fluff it often to keep it looking really, really nice. Now, I don't care because I love the look of this couch as a whole and it doesn't bother me to just fluff it here and there when I need to. And we don't have people over all the time. I really don't care what people think when they come over, but you know, if it is um, looking a little flattened, but it's it's a beautiful couch and that actually goes into the look when you buy a cloud couch you know that you're going to have it look a little distressed at times and that's just the look of it and i love that look personally um, i generally like to keep it fluffed and looking nice but 
I also like how it feels at times when it looks like <laughs> this, but you know, you do have to fluff it often if you want it to look good. And you probably want to fluff it often just to keep the feathers, you know, not staying in that compressed position at all times as well. So that could be a con for some people because they don't feel like doing that. Um, but again, it doesn't bother me. A lot of people have a cloud pouch and it doesn't bother them. So if you buy one, just get used to fluffing. And, you know, just get used to that. And if that's not something you want to do, if you want to just buy a couch, sit down on it when you have to and get up and go about your day on a regular basis, then do not buy this because you're going to have to put some work into it. So those are actually all of my pros and cons about this couch. I love this couch. Um, there aren't a ton of cons for me. I will buy this couch again and again if I had to. Once it gets to a point to where we need to purchase a new couch, I probably will be still buying um, this type of couch because I absolutely love it. It makes our space feel very inviting, very airy, very fun, and just, it's a really good purchase. I do not regret it at all. If you're thinking about buying this particular couch, I definitely say go ahead and get it. Everybody's different, but for me, it was the perfect purchase for me. Buddy loves it when people come over. They love it. I love to just sit back and relax on this couch. I love how I can fit on it. And it just is the perfect, um, it was just a perfect purchase for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, of course, am excited to see you in my next one. Again, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Keep it just like